Today we're looking at AI Artie, which is a image enhancing software that's going to be very, very good at denoising, deblurring, sharpening, and very good at upscaling photos and images from the internet. Now this is kind of a unique program and it's some of the best AI algorithms that I've seen to date. In terms of upscaling, I've seen nothing come close to the 32K that you can output in your photos. So if you are somebody like a landscape photographer, you might wanna take a second look at this, well, relatively inexpensive software. So I thought I'd just take you through and show you how just how easy this program is to use. It's a drag and drop interface with just a couple clicks and you're done. I do have some images here that were provided to show you what you can do with AI images. And also I'm gonna throw some of my own photos on here and show you exactly how they perform. So this is the first one here and all you need to do is just basically click plus and then add your own photo and it brings it in right away. It's that simple. Or you can just drag and drop right here and it's gonna bring it up over here is your very simple and basic interface. It's gonna show you what kind of hardware you're gonna be using for this program. If you do have GPU acceleration, that's gonna work a bit faster, but you can use just your CPU as well. There's three different AI models. You can click to see which one you might wanna use for your image. First, we've got more detailed GAN version two. This is gonna generate more details. It's gonna add more clarity, more sharpness. It's gonna de-blur and denoise. It's better for skin and hair and better perceptual quality. Now this is my favorite for sure. I think this one does the best job, but there's some other ones depending on what kind of photo you might be using, whether you're using AI generated image or you're using photography. We've got smooth diff version two. This is going to restore images pretty well, add fidelity, more clarity, smoother. It's going to add some de-blur and denoise as well and eliminate flaws. And finally, we've got real photo version three, specifically used for photo restoration. It's got better fidelity, more clarity, restores the original. It's going to de-blur, denoise, and it's designed for high quality images and photos. So if you already have some decent resolution, well, this is going to be great for that. So let's have a quick look at some examples here. This is an image that was about 1500 pixels here to start with. We're going to upscale that two times to over 3000. In this case, I'm gonna use the GAN version two here for detail and uh, we're gonna upscale it twice, like I said. So here is the before and the after here. Uh, this is the after and this is the before and you can actually get in as close as you want to see the differences and in a lot of cases, it does a really good job at certain things. It might not be the very last and perfect image for you. You might wanna go into Photoshop or something, but for a lot of things, it's good enough and it does a really good baseline. I hope you can see that. So we can also go in here and look at side by side before and after, and you can see that it's done a great job at denoising here the background, fixing any kind of pixelation or any banding that we have. And just look at the quality and the sharpness that it's brought into the image here. And it's not just sharpened things, it's actually generated some detail in here using those AI algorithms. So as you can see here going down, it's a heck of a lot better. And this is just one example of an AI photo here uh, before and after. Another example here, this is also an AI generated image here. Uh, the original resolution is about 1200 by 1920. And in this case, what I chose to do is upscale it four times. So we're gonna have a pretty decent sized resolution here, something out of a maybe a higher resolution camera, about 7680 by 4800. And here I've chosen to use the smooth diff version two, kind of smooth it out, remove any imperfections. And then my second pass, I chose more detail here. So again, let's have a look at the before and the after here. And as you can see right there, it's done a really, really good job at bringing or creating details in our image. Really, really good job. Just have a look at the quality at this incredible magnification here, just the detail in the lips and the skin. It does a good job at it also just making it and keeping it look natural. Again, let's go to the, the side by side here. And as we zoom in, you can just see the difference of quality in just the details is just unbelievable. And it's also very selective as well. As you can see, it doesn't over process things like the hair over here. It does do a little bit of denoising, but overall it doesn't overdo it. And it does a really good job at picking the right places to do the work. 
Next, we'll have a look at some photos that I took and I'm really pushing this thing to its limit here. This is a photo taken at 20,000 ISO. So we're gonna see its denoise capabilities and if it can actually add detail uh, into this image with something that's just so bad quality. So the original resolution of this photo is 4600 by 3000 and I'm going to upscale it four times and I'm going to use the, the more detail uh, basically twice on this one. And here is the after. Just have a look at the differences here and it doesn't nail everything because this of course the quality of this image to begin with was absolutely terrible. There's not much to draw from but if we really come in here and look at the details you can see here, of course, with the transition in the background here, that's going to be really tough because it's got to figure out what it's looking at. So it does struggle a little bit right there. But if you actually look at the subjects here and look at the quality and the depth that it's actually taken and created, I think it did just an incredible job. And for me going to edit this image, this is a really, really good starting point. Something that would have taken me a lot longer. Here's the before and the after side by side here. And again, this has been upscaled to an incredible amount, about 18,000 pixels at this point. And it's done a great job at just bringing in the details and the separation and the depth of these wings. I think it just did a fantastic job. Again, this is a very extreme example, but I just wanted to see what this thing could do when we push it to the limit. Finally, let's look at one of my landscape photos here. And I really like this application if you're needing to upscale and get the most detail out of your image for maybe some prints or some large scale printing where you really want an incredible amount of detail. Here I have upscaled it eight times to over 32,000 pixels here on the long end. Absolutely incredible. And I've used my more detail, my GAN2, uh, with the second pass as well. I want as much detail as I can possibly get out of this image. And here's the before and the after here. And while looking at it right away might not look like a ton, if you did wanna crop in or zoom in, you can start to immediately see the difference and it is massive. Once again, it's gonna add details, but it's also gonna smooth it out really nicely and it's gonna denoise your image here. You can see it in the clouds. It does a really nice job at that. But look at the difference in quality and of course, the just the sharpness and the details that it is gonna recover or even create in the rocks here. We'll go to our split screen once again so you can see this uh, in real time if you did want to crop. It's not even close to comparable here. The denoise is fantastic. It's selective. It, it even does a great job at the hard, fine lines as well. Nothing too crazy, no terrible artifacts, but look at the, look at the rocks and look at the quality uh, that is recovered from, from this image. And in the back here, it wasn't overly sharp or really in focus, and it's done a great job at, at bringing that back as well. So overall, I think if you are a landscape photographer or if you're somebody who might want to crop in on an image or if you have a wide angle lens and see something that you want to maybe take advantage of in one of the corners, well, this is going to be a great way to do that by really upscaling it to pretty much as big as I've ever seen it in any program to date. So if you did want to check out this program, if you wanted to pick it up, I will drop affiliate links down below. I'd recommend it to you. Absolutely. It's relatively low cost. You can buy a yearly license or opt for an, a lifetime license, which I really, really like. And it's still very reasonably priced if you ask me. So check that out, guys, if you wanted to pick this thing up. It does have lifetime updates as well, which is really nice. And this is kind of my brief overview and thoughts about the AIRD Image Enhancer. I think it's going to be a win. And I think if it does meet your specific needs, I think this is a no brainer. Thanks so much for watching guys. And like always make mistakes, be yourself and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.